Hey, welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And uh, you see here I'm on 30 megahertz, 30,000 kilohertz. Now, of course, for most of you using standard portable shortwave radios, uh, that's where it ends. Uh, usually these radios don't go higher than that. But if you have something like this, which is a wider band receiver, or if you're using an SDR, like the SDR Play, for example, you have access to a world above shortwave. You have access to some higher frequencies. And you might wonder, well, is there something interesting in there? Well, definitely. In the 30 megahertz range, there is when skip is open. Like, for example, now I've just heard some uh, activity on 10 meters and on the CB bands. Heard some slow scan TV. Uh, you've seen maybe the video, the previous video. That means this band is open probably for communications. Now, the thing is, almost everything you'll hear on the 30 megahertz and above band is in FM. So you'll need to have a narrow FM um, chosen in order for the communications to come through clear and then tune around. So let's see if we hear anything. I don't know if we'll get any skip. So what do you expect to hear on these lower VHF? Because now we are in the VHF range. Uh, that, that's what a lot of scanner radios, if you have a scanner radio layer lying around, uh, this is what we call VHF low. VHF low contains still a lot of communications. There's still some police force in the United States that use the 30 megahertz range. There are still some, a lot of military um, communications are still happening there. And of course, um, if you have law enforcement, stuff like that. You know, I remember years ago listening to a police chase uh, somewhere around 37, 38 megahertz or something. Uh, and so from 30 to 50 megahertz, anything can happen. Uh, and uh, don't think that it's dead and that nobody uses this band anymore. On the contrary, there's hundreds and hundreds of users still. And when the skip opens up, well, you don't hear them just where the action is happening. You hear them from really far away. Um, the police chase that I had received back in the day uh, was from somewhere in Texas. So I was hearing a police chase from Texas here because the skip was open. It was a summer day. It was a sporadic e-skip. So do tune around. If you have a scanner radio lying around, uh, it tunes, for sure, it must tune 30 to 50 megahertz. Uh, check it out. If you have a telescopic antenna, rather than the little rubber ducky, it's even better because these antennas will get those lower frequencies better. But scan around, especially in the daytime or when sporadic e skip is open, because you could be very surprised at what's going to be there. Not seeing much, but one of the things for sure is that with maybe a better antenna, I'm using the NFED, which is probably not very good for these frequency range. Maybe I have a lot more noise also. Uh, if you have a disc on or if you have a scanner antenna of some sort, these are the best for that range. Uh, but um, you might see, well, you know, he's not hearing anything. Why should I tune? Tune. You'll hear something definitely uh, if you tune regularly. 
And, you know, like when I do an example and there's nothing like right now, I will tune again here, even though I don't hear nothing, because I know that I will eventually hear something. And that's what's important on, um, you know, tuning around on the radio. It's perseverance, knowing that, yes, there's still some stuff there to listen to and if i try every day or if i try several times a week i will get some uh communications but uh yes there's a lot there might not be a lot of local stuff to you although some of you could be surprised at hearing some local communications also around you uh, scanner radio is great for that because scanner radio scans really fast so you could put your scanner radio uh, from you know to scan from 30 to 50 megahertz and just leave it doing that and um, you know do something else while it's actually scanning uh, and you'll be surprised it might actually stop on some communications you can not know down the frequencies and maybe even google them see well you know is there something that i um i can find out about who was on that frequency what was that communications and so on but do try 30 to 50 megahertz definitely you'll hear some interesting stuff if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.